One Piece Chapter 832 Review. So, this One Piece Chapter was much better than last week, and a lot happened. Of course, the big one is, of course, the reveal of Sanji's dad. Now, he has a pretty epic character design. He seems, so I have seen some people commenting he looks like the kind of guy who would beat his own wife. Which I had said before, maybe his dad beat his wife, and that was the reason. Because, you know, his Sanji dad beat his mom, and that is why Sanji won't hit women. That is very possible, but that wasn't revealed until the end of the chapter, but I really need to talk about that now, because that's the big one. And it does look like Sanji and his dad are going to fight next chapter, which is hype. But, you know, the other thing that happened in chapter, there was a little bit of dicking around in the forest. But it was pretty much just to recover from the stupidity of the dicking around from last chapter. The carrot comments that she knows that rabbit that they were fighting, I forgot his name, but the rabbit they were fighting, carrot comments that the reason she knows he's not a mink is because he cannot produce electricity if he was an attack. His attacks aren't surrounded with electricity, so he's definitely not a mink. Now, that is implying that that is something mink to just naturally do. I don't really understand that. It's like, maybe the mink who doesn't know how to do that, Carrot. Have you ever thought of that? No, but who knows? That was just something I observed that was a little weird. Now, the whole Mirror Luffy thing, it was whatever. I mean, it was, it, it's definitely a Mirror Mirror based telephone. Because what happened is the other Luffy covered his mouth and then Luffy covers his mouth because they had to mirror each other. So the fake Luffy runs off with Nami, Chopper, and Carrot, and then the other Luffy is forced to run in the other direction because he has to mirror what the other Luffy is doing. Now there is one thing with Luffy and with the fake Luffy and Nami where he it, it's a very odd thing. It, it's like he's trying to seduce Nami. Like, he's calling her, like, darling, and he's call and he's, like, complimenting the way she looks, and it's very creepy, beautiful. He has, like, no pupils, his eyes are, like, black, he is, like, shaded really weird, and Chopper points out Nami that is not Luffy. Now, I have a small problem with this, because Nami has always been a very observant character, and I, especially, she, she has, her observation skills are very good, especially due to that that she has been navigator. So I find it really hard to believe that she did not notice that Luffy's scar was on the wrong side of his face. I find that really hard to believe that she didn't notice that. Now we do get the thing where Luffy does find out about Sanji and the fact that they may not know that that is Sanji, which it clearly wasn't. As we see that later on, we see that Sanji is in Gurma City, the kingdom with his family. The world building in this chapter was amazing. We learned that most of the people uh, on in the Gurma Kingdom are all male soldiers that are constantly training, which is Slang, Yoji, and Sanji being complete pervert because they're surrounded by men all the time. So when they do see women, they freak out about it. Now, it doesn't explain why Sanji still freaks out about women when he's surrounded by Nami and Robin every day. And by the way, that cover page with Nami, oh, 10 out of 10, Oda. 10 out of 10, that was beautiful. That was nice, Oda. I'm gonna be uh, using that cover page tonight for some activities if you catch my dress. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, but really, um, it was a good chapter. I mean, there were small parts to it that were a little, like, I did feel like they goofed around in the forest a little too long. But that was kind of just my opinion, and that's probably because I'm still a little annoyed about the last chapter. Which we, we all know how I and most people felt about the last chapter. Last chapter, we're kind of a letdown, not too much happened, but that's, that, that's not this video. The point is, I think it was a really, really good chapter, but the ending was the best part of it. Now, I'm beginning to believe that Sanji does have training in hand-to-hand -hand combat with his fist, because of the quote by his father, which is, Let's take this outside. Men can only speak clearly with one another using their fist. Now, I feel like Sanji would beg to differ and say you can use your legs, and it may even be a, a metaphor of him saying men can only speak to each other through physical fighting and through violence, which isn't exactly true, but that's the whole other topic. The point is, is that his father is pretty much challenging Sanji to a fight, and we do get confirmation that Sanji is stronger than Yoji, because when he is questioned about what happens in Yoji, and his father even comments Yoji was formidable and very strong, 
Donji comments that he is indeed stronger. Now, another thing I loved about this chapter was seeing more of Sanji's loyalty to Luffy and his friends, where his sister is telling him how great he has it. Everyone in the country is willing to die for him, and he has ten beautiful maids that will do absolutely anything he wants. He could probably even have a relationship and have sex. He could probably have sex with these maids every day. He could probably have a sex with a different beautiful maid every day if he wanted to. However, he said, quit it. He tells his sister to quit it. He's like, no, I don't want this. I want to be with my friend and I won't marry that girl. But however, I was a little confused because the way they, I knew to think that they putting in Sanji had it met. I knew to think that. But however, this changes that. I mean, maybe now they may have met. I know you're probably thinking, how could they have met? But think about it. Think about this for a minute. Riju comments how they think Pudding is a sweet girl. Now, I won't deny, Riju doesn't seem like a bad person. Like, she seems like, it's hard to tell because she definitely, because we don't have a voice after, but she, it could go either way. She could either be a complete bitch and just be acting, uh, kind of like, you know, Zula from Avatar Black Last Air Avenger, putting up that uh, caring little sister act. But no, she older sister in this case. But she could very well care about Sanji. And she had comment that putting it a sweet girl. But Sanji pretty much like, no. I'm gonna be there for my friends and all this. Really nice stuff. But Sanji denies. He pretty much tells her, you are not my family. This is probably the rudest we've ever seen Sanji be to a woman in the whole series. He's like, you, we are, none of us are family. And I love it. He's telling his sister off. He's telling his dad off. He's saying, we are not family. And he even comments that anybody would, that would hang a hideous picture like this up is no family of mine. Like, then he comments that it's his dad. And if it's your dad, and after some battle in the North Blue, some incident, that was really good. We learned that the soldiers in German Kingdom train every single day, which is, of course, probably most likely a reference to Zoro training every day, and why it would bother Sanji so much. I also already went into why it would bother them, because there's only a lot of males. Now, once again, my opinion on who being antagonist is going to be has changed. I think I'm starting to think maybe it will be Sanji, Dad. Because the real debate here is, are we ready for Big Mom? Are we ready to fight Big Mom? Now, I don't think we are. I don't think Luffy is strong enough to fight her. But then again, if you had asked me pre-Gear 4, I would have said Luffy was not strong enough to fight Doflamingo. And that I still don't think he's strong enough to fight Doflamingo in a one-on-one -on -one fight. But that is besides the point. That is for a whole nother video. You can tell me your thoughts on it in the comments, but I will be making a video on that eventually. But, another video. I've already made one video about it, I'm gonna do it again. But that's besides the point. Sanji's dad is being set up to be an antagonist. It's clear he's being set up to be an antagonist. And I feel like the Vine Smoke family, or the Smoke family, are more likely to be around the level of the Straw Hats, where you could have, like, Nami fight Riju. Probably not, because Riju probably super freaking strong, she's probably uber powerful. But, I mean, these people are most likely going to fight. But, another thing that could happen is maybe it could be the Vince Smoke versus the crew, and then it could be, like, Luffy, Sanji versus his dad, and then Luffy versus Big Mom. Because the real debate here is who should fight Sanji father, or who I'm now going to refer to as Judge, because his name is Judge Vinsmoke. But who should fight him? Should Luffy fight him because Luffy's the main character, or should Sanji fight him? Should they tag team him? We're not really sure where this arc is going. But overall, I still think it was a really good chapter. I would give it maybe... You know what? i give it a 10 out of 10. I can't find anything wrong with it. I mean, the running around, the little bit of dicking around in the beginning kind of bothered me. But that was pretty much had to happen just to recover from last week and get set back on track. But yeah, I mean, we're set back on track, so I'm going to let that slide. So again, the chapter was perfect. I mean, it was super hype. I loved it. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the chapter. Tell me your thoughts on the chapter in the comment section down below. If you liked the review, please leave it a like. And if you want more stuff like this, subscribe. And above all else, guys, have a great day. It's a One Piece Nation signing out.